Caddis Maximus here. This is just a super quick review of this Harbor Freight Gordon uh, folding utility pocket knife, 62358. I actually had done a review and comparison of the uh, more expensive, more premium grade Harbor Freight Gordon. And then, of course, the other Pittsburgh. And I noticed they didn't actually have these in stock at the time. So these, I believe, are the uh, slightly cheaper uh, Gordon, although uh, it's not a bad little knife. And since I've been taught, I did a review of all these ju just a little bit ago. I'm not going to go into super detail, but we have the Husky model here. And so this is just a little bit thicker, about the same style where it's a flip open and then it's uh, uh, the back side is what locks. This has a little thumb flip, so that's kind of interesting. Now, both this Husky and this Pittsburgh, I'll show that you press down on this button to get the blade to release and go in and out. That was a little out of focus. And somebody had made a comment where they really liked this Pittsburgh and they thought it was the best one. And I definitely disagree. And actually, one of the situations that I had run into is even though they have this little thumb thing so you can flip it open. The situation I ran into is since this is a button and you press down on it to release the blade. Uh, I was just trying it out. And if you're cutting and maybe your, your thumb's off to the side, you can whoop. You can be cutting and your thumb will slip and boom the blade will slip right out and that's actually a real big issue is the fact that you can be using this knife and your thumb just gets a little bit off on one side or the other and like right in the middle of a cut you'll slip and the whole blade will just come flying right on out of there so that's actually a, a real kind of a safety concern and uh, definitely don't like that at all. That just should not happen when you're using utility knives. And we can see it has some jimping and texturing. So you're going to be holding it like this. And you're just naturally, your thumb's going to come off. And you're just going to end up hitting that lever at some point when you're doing your cuts. And the blade's just going to come out. So I think that is actually a design issue and defect. And I definitely recommend against the Husky and the Pittsburgh just for that reason alone. Uh, and it will eventually happen to you where that blade comes out. We, of course, have the Milwaukee Fastback, which is a pretty nice unit. And if we compare it to this newer Gordon, it's a bit longer, quite a bit thicker, but it has nice cutouts. The Milwaukee you consider to be uh, a more professional brand. The only thing I don't like about it is, of course, the wire pocket or uh, belt clip because it's just so flimsy, so easy to get bent. Otherwise, this is a nice unit and it has the feature that I do like, which is a side button which seems to always work real smoothly. Gosh, if this camera would stay focused. And no matter how you're doing your cuts, there, you're, it's very unlikely that you're going to end up pressing against the side of that side button. But you may be doing some actions where maybe the material or something hits it. And it's just to be aware of it. Uh, one way or another, there's going to be issues. Uh, I do kind of like that this does have a button lock. So even if you drop it, it's not going to pop open. In the last review and comparison, I forgot to bring this out. So this is would be the thinnest and smallest of any replaceable utility knife that uses the trapezoidal blades. Whenever you drop a knife, do not try to catch it. One real thing there is you got to train yourself not to try to catch knives that are falling. Bad idea. So if you want something that's actually super thin and super compact, uh, this Gerber right here, this liner lock Gerber, is about the smallest that you can get. But comparing to these two Gordons, the reason I say this is the more professional grade is just because it has a nice push button lock. It locks in the locked position. And then it has two open positions, an angle position, which makes certain types of cuts easier, and then a fully locked open position. I also like the aspect of this where it has uh, a different kind of blade release here where it's a little rotating cam. And it actually is a pretty secure method and uh, pretty safe because when you're cutting it's very unlikely that you're going to be all the way up here grabbing a hold of that cam and this does have some jimping on top but none on the bottom but it's still not too bad and I believe this is stainless steel although they didn't really address that what I do find interesting about this particular Gordon and let me get the little blade cover back on is the fact that it locks in the closed position, kind of like the Milwaukee, which I do like, but then it inc includes a genuine thumb release. Uh, but I haven't really figured out any way to both hit the, hit the button and then take advantage of that thumb flip. 
but I do like that it does have it and that it's not related to the actual securement method of the blade. So now five, a couple minutes later, we're into this one, which this I believe is die cast or sintered steel. What I do like is the jimping or the serrations for grip. They're very aggressive on the bottom and they have them on the top finally. So you really get a nice purchase. Like the Milwaukee, it has a push button blade release. And also like the Milwaukee, it actually works quite smoothly. It doesn't uh, want to get hung up. It's a little bit new. So after you replace the blades a couple times, it'll be pretty good. But it really is nice and easy to uh, get the blades in and out of there. And they do hold quite securely. We can see if we push it in. Get a nice little click, and it really is held quite nicely. It's held together also with screws. So if you ever get a bunch of crud building up and it's not working properly, you can take these two halves apart and clean it out. The other thing I'll say is it, as far as a back lock, it probably has the strongest spring I've ever encountered. It's really just pretty crazy. If we start folding it, we can show how much force it has. That just snaps closed. So even though it doesn't lock close, there is a lot of spring tension wanting to hold this Gordon shut. And so I think this is a little bit of the cheaper of the two of the Gordons, but it's really not bad. And I still like this cheaper Gordon versus the Pittsburgh. We can see that it uses three screw independent screws to hold the body together, as well as the four screw being the hinge pin, just like on this Gordon. However, on the Pittsburgh, which is a bit cheaper, there's only two screws that hold the body together. And then they just have a, a press fit pin, which kind of holds in this back piece. So even this Gordon is built a little bit better. And even though it's a slightly cheaper version, it does not have a two position locking. It's only single position. And I kind of wish they would have added uh, kind of both features. Uh, it's interesting that they're totally different manufacturers, but it would have been neat to have the two position locking on this knife. But then I also would have appreciated if this knife had the really aggressive jimping that was on this slightly cheaper Gordon. So that was kind of the purpose of this review is they didn't have this in stock when I had done the review and comparison with this Gordon and the Harbor Freight along with the others. And so I figured I would uh, put a review of this up just for completeness and of course to add to the Caddis Maximus tool database. But as far as the Harbor Freight uh, general utility knives, I'm still going to say a second time around the Gordons. Either the nicer one, which is definitely heavier, has aluminum panels with a steel liner in it. This is just relying on two uh, aluminum paddles, but they're still pretty good. And it definitely has a real strong spring. So you kind of got to choose whether you want just a thinner, slightly more lighter weight one. Or uh, this one, which has a bit more functionality in it because it has two position locking. As well as being a bit thicker and a bit heavier. And what's interesting is this Gordon actually seems to be from a different supplier or a different product line. And what kind of gives me a little bit of evidence of that is if we look at the belt clips here, they're all triple screwed on all three of these. But if we look at both of these, that would be the Pittsburgh and then this uh, cheaper Gordon that I'm is the subject of this review. Uh, it is thinner than the Pittsburgh, so the Pittsburgh does have a little bit uh, thicker of a body. But we can see how they're, the Pittsburgh and this Gordon, both are serialized. Never seen laser etched serial numbers on utility knives, but they do have them. And we can see that the, the dimensions for the three holes in the belt clips are about the same. This one's quite a bit different. There's a much different shape to the belt clip. We can see that the upper part here uh, has different spacing for the holes and there is no serialization. So that's what makes me think this may be from an entirely different supplier than who's been making these two knives. Anyway, that's the end of this review and overview of the Harbor Freight Gordon 62358, uh, more budget or cheaper of the Gordon branded Harbor Freight folding pocket utility knives. Anyway, I really appreciate everybody watching and subscribing. And if you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe to the Caddis Maximus channel. Until next time, Caddis Maximus out.